What up, YouTube? This is GeoStellar1, and I'm coming to you with another product from Traxxas. Now, I planned to acquire this, I think, around three years ago when the XO1 came out, and Traxxas never released it until as of recently, and I haven't seen anyone really on YouTube that has this. I think maybe a Dutch company or something like that that released it not in English. So I ended up thinking I should acquire this because I do a lot of speed runs, and this would be something pretty cool for my RCs. So let's start off with the GPS module. Now, I know for a while now, a lot of guys have been utilizing um, GPSs off their cars or handheld GPSs. This primarily is a GPS module that attaches and integrates with the Traxxas TQI remote. And there have been many issues with the telemetry uh, on the RC, but this in actuality gives you an accurate GPS reading on their RC. Now, this supposedly was supposed to come out a while ago and was never released, and now it's here. So I ended up acquiring this, and um, as you can see, you do need the uh, expansion kit, which is right here. And this is the telemetry expander, and it gives me all the options of putting stuff in there. Haven't even opened this one up yet, but I'll open up the GPS module, and I plan to integrate it into Stampinky first, but I just want you to see on the size of this unit, and look how small this thing is. I mean, really? I mean, let me, let me give you a perspective of what this thing looks like with a penny so this is what you're looking at once it's install installed with the telemetry based system now here's a question that's going to be asked to me on a few of the people a few of the fans of the show then i say okay which rcs are you going to plan to put this in i plan to put them in all of my rcs now here's the difference i'm able to move this telemetry gps from one expansion unit to another now, here are a few of the mounts. This mount would be for the Rustler, the the Rustler, the Bandit, and the Slash two-wheel drive. I'm not too sure if it's set for the two-wheel drive LCG, but the main two-wheel drive for the Slash, it does work for. So this is um, 6554. But for Stampinky, this will be for the Rally Slash 4x4, the... the the Stampede 4x4 and the Telluride, which is the 6555. And this is the mount that I plan to put in for uh, Stampede over there. I kind of thought this RC is definitely de deserving of having this type of setup because this is kind of like an ultimate Stampede 4x4. So I kind of thought this would be something definitely to install into that. Now, let me see if I can get you the model numbers for this. Uh, bum, 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 bum. And I would not know what the model number to this unit is because, ah, oh, here we go. 6551 will be for the GPS. And <clears throat> this is 6550. So this are, this is going to be the things that you're going to be utilizing for this. You're going to need a TQI receiver. You have your TQI remote. You have the telemetry expander. And there is a GPS. This does come with cabling. So let's start off in getting this installed for Stampinky. Alrighty, so I both opened up both units. Here is the Traxxas GPS and regular Traxxas form. Installation products, I guess, for the for uh, the GPS. I'll put you back in here, get rid of you. And we do have, here's the telemetry expander, a few screws, screws into the unit as well. We have good old silicone grease. Now, if you guys are not familiar with this, you in actuality have to put it to where once the main component cover comes on that, you put it on the foam and it should make this unit water resistant. Also, cool foam from Traxxas and the cabling that I need to utilize and screws to mount this on and more instructions uh, for this Traxxas unit. So let me come across 
look at the instructions on mounting the 6555 and we'll see what we're working on at that point. Aha! So this video is going to have to be a to be continued. So I'm looking at all the the components that come in for the installation of this and I'm looking at this component which is right here it's called the expound expander mount clamp now here is the problem that we're having right here if you're looking right now you're looking at the expander uh, expander mount clamp going right here and screwing in in between the first shock tower if you guys let me focus on that on the first shock tower right there um, here is the problem that I'm I'm facing as of this point if you look on my RC right now, I'll get a closer view of this, and I'll bring you a little closer. If you're looking at, if you're looking at Stan Pinky right now, and there's a close-up view of this, that does not match the same shock tower for me to position this mount as of this point on. So I'm gonna have to do a little research. Maybe I might have to get a Traxxas. Uh, shock tower to uh, install this but maybe not <laughs> let me just figure out a few things and hopefully we can get this up and running as soon as possible I'll catch you on the next video later alrighty so this will be a little bit of bonus footage so this is going to slip in into the stock the stock right there stock shock tower which you'll notice it slides in correctly right there and this component would go into the slots right here and that is just the bonus footage for you guys and then you mount everything else up over here and <laughs> you start slapping stuff together like a jigsaw puzzle and everything should fit correctly but that's where we're at. I just wanted to give you a quick footage on that I think I'm gonna be mounting this to something else but there you go